And you are? Hey, you were the one who called me up here. <clears throat> sir. It's weird to hear him say sir and not pal. <laughs> pal. <laughs> sir pal. <laughs> Name's Dick Gumshoe. I'm a ho for some reason I read that as I'm a homicidal detective. <laughs> uh, you're going to jail now. Jail immediately. A cop with nothing to lose. <laughs> I'm a homicide detective down at the precinct. Detective Gumshoe. Long time no see. Hey, you. Uh, huh? Me? Today's the day, pal. Today, I win and you lose. What? See, I'm I got already confidence in my testimony right today. See. <sighs> what? You normally lack confidence in your testimony? Hey, detective, this is my stage. Can the antics? Huh? Oh. <laughs> All this. Hey, Ewing and such. I could care less about your history together. <laughs> you know, the last time I had a young prodigy lawyer, they kept whipping me, so I guess this is an improvement, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, and I honestly kind of prefer her. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Detective Gumshoe, if you would. Please tell us about the case at hand. It happened six days back in a room at the General Hospital. That's the name of the place. <laughs> hey! Wait he's a... no turtle! Yeah, what wait, the wait, fuck? Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, there's several oh, see, things I, know... I, I want to no, know here. I know... I know what happened. Magnify Grammary came up with the tricks, but in order to keep his identity secret, he ah. knows who this fucker is ah. as a pro it's just like the Drew Misham Vera Misham thing. Well, except and, with, and that's why the IV is green because they were. Is that all? Oh, the turtle guys, is that a bullet hole in his head? Yes, and no I think so. Yes, I think so. And there's also a bullet hole in the clown uh, on the side table. Thank you. I really did. I get. We, I know we got other jokes here, but he has a bullet hole in his head. I don't think you're saving him. <laughs> well, my assumption is that the gun on, that's damn on it, the table breathe. is they like he was there and just got shot. Uh, they uh they stopped the process. The yes. Oh. They stopped the process of his turtlefication before it could be completed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're they're because then yes, if he just got oh yeah right, they say this is the crime scene. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that guy should that guy's brain should be absolutely coated everywhere. With the yeah, wall yeah. Behind him. yeah, yeah, just... yeah, yeah. Uh, Listen, uh, Pridge, Pridge, this game matter. is rated PG thirteen. Or, it's or like, that's, that's, like rated that's, for, that's for movies. Zach. Yeah, just, just coded. In brain matter. <laughs> like you would think someone just freshly painted the place. Well, Jesus we'll Christ. see a little we'll bit. See, Pridge, Pridge. The reason that there's no blood is because that's actually part of his shell. So <laughs> the bullet only pierced his shell, and it didn't actually hit any vital organs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The facts are as simple as they come. Here's the crime scene. The victim was a patient asleep in a hospital bed. The killer comes in, puts a pistol to his forehead, and bam! Lights out. Apparently a very ornate golden pistol. That yeah. is the fact. I'm a huge fan of uh, James Bond Goldeneye from mm -hmm. the N64. Also, it's so weird to see him because he looks... Sweet, like so different than everybody else. Yeah, I was about that? to say... That, the, that the thing about is he, weird. I think like Phoenix's updated sprite is like okay, but I think Gumshoes is definitely like the weirdest looking one to me in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's some weird lines on him. Hmm. Not so long ago, the victim, Magnifi Grammary, was a famous man. Turtle. Apparently. <laughs> 
There he is. Ah, yes, there he is <laughs> in all his glory. <laughs> this this was the original troop grammary. These four. Yeah. <laughs> he had the entire country under his magical spell, as it were. Ah, yes, the great magician. He retired years ago. Objection! Say the name Magnifi to one of my generation, and you'd be lucky to get a blank stare. Uh, kids these days. Ah, these millennials. <laughs> yes, though I'm sure the youngsters today know his disciples even better. I dare say Troop Grammary has made quite a name for themselves. Anyhow, the retired Magnifi's been in the hospital for the last year. Uh, what was it? Incuritis? Mall ignorant no. toter. Gumshoe, come on. Come on. <laughs> Buddy, I think you've this, got a mall ignorant got, tutor going on. This, 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 this teacher knew nothing about shopping malls. <laughs> Didn't even know they existed. <laughs> never heard a hot topic in his life, pal. <laughs> He's never once set foot in a mic in a <laughs> in a fucking oh, what is it called? What's the what's the other hot topic? Michaels? Uh, Spencer's. 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 <laughs> Michaels. <laughs> I mean, Michaels. I was is, like, Michaels like a. It's another store. Michaels though. is a uh, craft store. Yeah, yeah. Beer. Michaels is a. Yeah, and then there's Marshall. I had so many names in my head, guys. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of department stores. There's too many na people's names as the names of stores. <laughs> wow, got him. It was something to his liver, I think. Yeah. Oh, Gumshoe, that was actually to his lover. A uh, malignant tumor, perhaps? A brain tumor. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> In other words, he had liver cancer. He's only three months left to live, in fact. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Facts do seem simple enough, but something's not right. The victim was already climbing a three-month stairway to heaven. Uh, <laughs> why not wait for him to knock, knock, knock on heaven's door? Why shoot him? A knock, knock, knocking knock, on knock heaven's, heaven's door. door. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have put it quite so lyrically, but it's true. I, the idea of like them doing a joke of uh, Clavier is so young, he's so much younger than this generation, and using a song that's like really fucking dated. Two songs. I know. That's uh -huh. really fucking dated at this point. Why make the effort to commit murder when the victim was about to die? Incidentally, the victim had a serious case of diabetes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes? In fact, he was about to shoot up with insulin. I feel like that's an inappropriate thing to say. <laughs> it's honestly kind of a very inappropriate way to phrase using insulin. Yeah! What? <laughs> when he was shot with a pistol, the syringe was found at the crime scene. Chronic diabetes and cancer. As much as it pains me to say it, the victim was clearly at the end of his life. Okay. Have no, we... he could just power through it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hmm is right, Zach. <laughs> I believe the question before <laughs> us is clear then. Why did the killer have to shoot this dying man? What reason could he have had? Very well, Detective. Perhaps you can enlighten us as to the circumstances of the shooting. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Actually, the victim kind of ordered the defendant to do him in. 
A few days before it happened, the victim sent a letter ordering his own murder. Okay. DoorDash. <laughs> Door death. <laughs> The defendant did what was asked of him and shot the old man in the forehead. The bullet was fired from the pistol found at the scene. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Thank you. The pistol definitely belonged to the old man, sir. Okay. What? <laughs> You're saying the victim ordered his own shooting? Those are the facts. I have here the letter in question. So some people saying, like, that's not murder. It is still definitely illegal, though. Oh. Right? Yeah, you would. this would still be murder, yeah. right, Bridge? If you murder someone because they add, if you kill some, if you kill Because euthanasia is not legal, at least in the States. Yeah. Uh, yeah, consent is a defense to cry, is a defense to crimes, but not to uh, murder. It's still murder. Oh, okay. Yeah. You cannot you, you cannot consent to, you cannot consent to your own murder. Interesting. Objection! Very unusual indeed. Although could such a thing as a letter really cause one to pull a trigger, I wonder. I mean, we've seen less like mm -hmm. I believe the answer to that question can be found at the end of the letter. The end of the letter? Ah, you cannot refuse, and we both know the reason why. Detective Gumshoe, can you explain this to the court? Unfortunately, even the defendant won't say a peep about that bit, sir. One thing about this bothers me. Why didn't he just say 11? Okay, wait, we got, what is this, what is, I didn't actually get to yeah, read it. They didn't give us a great chance to read the letter. Uh, I entrust you with the task of lowering my life's curtain. Okay, I'm be fancy with this. Uh, come on the 13th, 11.05 p.m. I will ready a gun with which you will shoot one shot square on the forehead. You cannot refuse and we both know the reason why. Okay. So he's being blackmailed into m murdering him. <laughs> Interesting. Let's... So, okay, yeah. Why didn't he just say 11? Why have him come at 11.05 without some specific reason? The devil is in the details, Heritani. Well, was there some reason? As it turns out, there was. Every night for half hour, starting at 11... The victim, Magnifi Grammary, was given an IV. An <clears throat> IV? A four? <laughs> the Roman numeral four? <laughs> the Roman numeral four. Uh, there it is in the picture, off to the side of the bed. At eleven, a doctor would come to set up the IV. Thirty minutes later, he would come back for the empty bag. This happens every night, without fail. So, that was the only time they could meet without the chance of an untimely interruption? During his Roman numeral four? Very well. Shall we begin? Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you would. What's this reason he couldn't refuse, I wonder? Could have at least mentioned it to me. Okay. Victim ordered to do him in. A few days before it happened, they sent a letter ordering his own murder. He did what was asked of him, shot the old man in the forehead. Uh, bullet was fired from the pistol scene, no doubt about it. Well, my thing is like. Because I pointed this out earlier, there's definitely two bullet holes. One in his head and one in the clown head. Which, also, the one in the clown head is, like, way bigger. 
Mm -hmm. Well, see, it, it, it's like yeah. it's like using a pillow to stifle the noise. You just use the clown to stifle the noise. <laughs> the idea of using a plushie <laughs> of a clown and also choosing to shoot the plushie of the clown in the head is like, are you okay, man? <laughs> no, nah, honestly, if you zoom in, if you zoom in and magnify that hole in the clown's head, you mean magnify? If you yeah, if you magnify right in the hole in the clown's head, you can see it's really small, but you can see. Yamcha in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? No, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Zach, see if you can Oh, I'm absolutely gonna make Yamcha that work. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super tiny the cloud tech. Also I'm realizing the he's definitely writing in the diary with the note torn off that was what Trucy gave us the mm -hmm. fake forgery of. Uh, okay. He mentions there was only one bullet. And there's two. I don't know if that's anything. We probably still need to start. Oh yeah. Seven. I still think he shot through the cloud to stifle the noise. Uh, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Uh, <laughs> Incredibly fun. How can you be so sure? Hey, you gotta learn to stop relying on people to do your thinking for you, pal. Wow. Learn to think for yourself. Get that noggin cranking! <laughs> you failed to grasp the concept of questioning, detective. <laughs> First, we got this letter. It says, shoot in the forehead loud and clear. I can see that. But I still wouldn't, but I still wouldn't do it. Well, <laughs> maybe you need to grow yourself a backbone, pal. <laughs> shoot the shot, pal. Take, take, take the shot. <laughs> you failed to grasp the concept that shooting people is bad, detective. We also found the defendant's pistol at the scene. Traces of gunpowder residue shows that it had been fired recently. Well, Mr. Wright. As far as I can tell from looking at this photo... There seems to be no issue oh. with the prosecution's claim. Hey, look at that. They're probably about to set us up to point out the other bullet. The photo. Maybe there's something in there I can use. The bullet went through the clown and then went <laughs> through Gregory Edgeworth's heart. So they're saying... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This all this, goes this, back. <laughs> this is one dangerous bullet. So they're saying the defendant shot the victim in the forehead. I think there's a hole in the prosecution. I think there's a hole in the prosecution's argument. Clearly, Mr. Enigmar. I have no Got clue. Something I have no idea. idea. <laughs> Looking at this photo, another possibility occurs to me. Yes. What does the letter tell us? That the defendant had a reason he couldn't refuse his teacher's wishes. Bingo, pal! That's why the defendant popped him on, popped him one in the forehead. Oh, the defense disagrees. You see, the defendant had another choice he could make. Objection. What? And you can prove that with this photo? I can prove he had a choice, yes. The defendant might have fired like he was ordered, but he didn't shoot the victim's forehead. Well, let's hear what you're thinking, Mr. Wright. If he didn't shoot the victim's forehead, what did the defendant shoot? The Ivy of Mountain he Dew! Sh he shot up the insulin! <laughs> <laughs> Again, I really. I do, I do like they were pouring pure gamer fuel. Yeah. <laughs> Magnify Grammary yeah. was a gamer. He was. Uh, he was actually the lead conductor of Operation Baja Blast. <laughs> uh, please. Oh, Nurse, yeah. give him twenty cc's of liquid Baja stat. <laughs> it was. It was actually, it was actually. Actually, was the Mountain Dew Garita. Oh my god. <laughs> Quick, nurse, get me a chicken chalupa. <laughs> the clown. Give me a Doritos Locos Tacos. 
Take a closer look. See? It's been shot in the forehead, too. Ah. There's a hole in its forehead. Yes. And a hole in the prosecution's claim. Ha! And I suppose you have a reason as to why he'd shoot the clown doll? Just hates that clown. He didn't just shoot the doll. He shot the doll's forehead. He was like... Oh, fuck the clown! Oh god, that's scary. <laughs> oh, that was the only bullet I had. Ah, oh, well... Ah, oh, dang it, I'm sorry, Teach. <laughs> His forehead. Uh. Let's read the orders once more, shall we? I guess this is why Clavier cares so much about foreheads. <laughs> I, I was trying, like, just hearing him say his forehead and not air forehead. I'm like, air, what the air fuck? Uh, let's read the orders once more, shall we? Okay, two chicken chalupas, one Baja blast. <laughs> <laughs> this episode really is sponsored by Taco Bell. You will shoot Traffic. one shot square in the forehead, which is exactly what he did. He shot the clown doll square in the forehead. The defense has raised an intriguing possibility. That hole in the clown's forehead, it definitely looks like it was shot. Bailiff, send someone to investigate this matter. Send someone to shoot I that cloud again. Make sure it's really <laughs> dead. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> we can't risk it getting away. Yeah. Just look at him. <laughs> Makes me sick. <laughs> I admit, I'm impressed. But I expected nothing less. Still, this doesn't mean he didn't shoot the victim. Perhaps oh. he did have to shoot the forehead as ordered. They used, uh... The old mm, objection. They're they using used, the new... They're using Sam Regal's oh. objection now. Yeah. Which, for understandable reasons... <laughs> oh, no. I actually don't know what happened to the... Oh, uh, bad. Phoenix's original DSVA, uh, did some no! bullshit. I was worried you were oh. gonna say that. Yeah. Well, I is. know his original voice actor was just a guy who worked for Capcom, right? Yeah. He uh, he was accused of some stuff. Some... Well. Yeah. Yikes. But the letter says Boom. nothing about who's for him. This is the only way he had to follow the orders without taking a life. The bullet hole in the clown doll's forehead does demand an explanation. It might very well be a clue. Yet Prosecutor Gavin is right. It alone does not prove the defendant's innocence. You cannot say for sure the defendant didn't shoot the victim. So sorry, Mr. Wright. How sad it is to see the mighty fall. Bro, like, this was my first objection. Like, you gotta give me, like, a little bit <laughs> I'm more. Not done. I ain't done yet, friend. How sad it is to see the novice's overconfidence. He doesn't realize just how big this little hole is going to get. Are you kidding me? This, this line is... Ah, fix! Yeah. <laughs> I, when I was recording footage for this the other day, I, like, stopped on this line and, like, turned around, tapped my roommate on the shoulder. I was like, <gasps> look at this. <laughs> just look at this. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't realize just how big this little hole is going to get. <laughs> Just hearing you say that in all earnest. Trying to be serious, yeah. <laughs> but Miles yeah. knows exactly how it's <laughs> going to get. <laughs> but Dahlia does not. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? Please take this newfound fact into account as you continue your testimony. So what if he shot the clown? He still shot the victim, pal. But he did oh, not shoot the deputy. Does the, does the gun thing say only one shot was fired or uh, something? Single gun shot to the head. Uh, 
Every patient had three months to live. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to his letter. Shoot one shot square in the forehead. Okay, so that mm. contradicts with what he was told to do. Objection! Uh, music still playing? Fuck! Yeah. Look at the look at the the actual autopsy report. Like, examine it. Uh, cause of death: loss of blood from bullet wound. I feel like if you get shot in the head, that's not well, how you'd call say, that. That's really weird. I don't think the loss of blood kills you. I think the <laughs> blood force trauma of eviscerating your brain matter kills yeah, you. Yeah, I wouldn't word it like that. <laughs> if someone chops your head. You don't die from a blood pour. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, here's the thing, though. If the if they're saying the cause of death was loss of blood, there is no blood. So it's also a, a weird a contradiction. Thing? Yeah, unless they're also trying to prove that Zach Grammary is a fucking vampire. Oh shit! Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. Uh, must be on the wrong track. Okay. Uh, what if he shot the clown? Fuck. Time to gather all I the mean, details. I guess you could just press it to see what happens. Yeah, I, I think he's saying, better pay attention and read this letter carefully. Okay. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullet was fired. So definitely belonged to the old man. What if he shot the victim? He still shot. The... What if he shot the victim? The clown. He still shot the victim. So let me get this straight. You're saying my client first shot the clown and then shot the victim. Hey, hey. a bad summary, pal. More of a confirmation than a summary, but whatever. That was really <laughs> more of a confirmation than a summary. But our defense attorney seems pleased enough with himself. Do these people ever miss a chance to mock me? Well, now that Mr. Wright's gotten that out of his system, shall we continue with the testimony? I didn't have time to... Okay, this is the repeat stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, like, in this flashback, Phoenix is, like, acting the exact same way that he treats Apollo in, in the future. He's just like, yeah, fuck this kid. I'll keep making jokes with him. Uh, maybe something with the bullet. Because they're only mentioning one bullet here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You mean this pistol? The one in the crime scene photo? That's the one! It's a funny looking gun, so there's no mistake in it. We compared the bullet taken from the victim's skull with a bullet fired from this gun. The rifling marks on the bullets were a perfect match. So, you verified the murder weapon, in other words? You bet we did! Okay, this will definitely belong to the old man. Hmm. Where's the... He has a statement where he mentions it's just one, right? This one is just as the bullet. Um... Maybe the maybe if we press this we get the gun as the info and then maybe that'll say something. Why are you so certain? What pile of sand has your head been stuck in all this time, pal? You never heard of Zack and Valance quick draw shoot 'em? First off, no. Secondly, that's an incredible name. Huh? What's that? One of the defendant's specialties. Hey. Zack and Ballant stand on either side of a girl. Then they shoot. The end. <laughs> <laughs> but the bullets don't hit her. Because they're terrible it's... shots and they miss. <laughs> Instead, they hit everything else on stage. Not really a trick. Bad they, yeah. they hit everything else on stage, including the volunteers. <laughs> this was one of the pistols they used in their show. Got a great design, huh? The kids love it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I know there's probably something more to that trick from that description. It does sound really lame. Yeah. <laughs> it does sound like <laughs> yeah. 
It does sound like two guys just want to cut at someone and miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry he's just badly explaining it, but that sounds like such a shitty trick. Super, super snivy in the chat says, Ah, oh, I get it now. Zach did try to shoot him in the forehead, but he but he missed so bad he hit the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you want me in my magic boys. act? I was gonna miss fire I was gonna miss fire a pistol a bunch. <laughs> magic. Many boys and girls joined the police because of that pistol I hear. God damn it. You know, that would explain a lot about the police force, okay, Phoenix? Yeah, based Phoenix. Based Phoenix. Troop Grammary stopped doing that act a while ago. <laughs> the old man got held on to that pistol ever since. He got shot. <laughs> oh, oh. Miss bullets. Hey, I was right. Ah, uh, there we go. The court would like to see the pistol in question. You got it, sir. Here she is. Oops, I shot it. <laughs> Crap! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> this truly is a blast from the past. <laughs> I was almost expecting you to say a Baja blast from the past. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a stage pistol for magic shows, see? But I can fire real bullets. Hmm. It looks so much bigger in real life than on TV. That's what they all say, Judge. <laughs> yeah, but it can only hold one round. By the way, the pistol's firing chamber is empty. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah, because they only hold one round. Fired then. Recently. So, were any fingerprints found on the gun? Unfortunately, no. Of course, the defendant is known for wearing gloves. Wait, so is there only evidence the note then? Uh, yep. I mean, we have... Yeah, I mean... Pretty much. Because that's a terrible case. <laughs> we might say the lack of fingerprints is, in fact, a fingerprint of its own. No. No, you really can't, actually. <laughs> Intriguing point. Well made. Whoa, Not well made. Not intriguing. In any case, the court accepts this evidence. <laughs> because he wears gloves, that means it must be him. Yeah. So any murder weapon with no fingerprints could be Zach Grammarys. My grandchild would get a kick <gasps> out of seeing this. Wes, would you like to see that gun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but now it's time to return to our testimony. To our previously scheduled testimony. Okay. Uh, so what if he shot the... Right. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now it's present... The gun, the gun, gun, the gun. <laughs> The trickiest cases often seem the simplest. Prosecutor Gavin, you missed the bullet hole in the clown's forehead. If you hadn't missed that, you might have come to a very different conclusion. Understand? Objection! Yeah, but... Like I just said, pal. After he shot the clown in the forehead, he went and... Objection! Did nothing of the uh, did nothing of the sort to the victim. The pistol proves he could not. The murder weapon? Yeah, how? It's quite simple, Your Honor. This pistol only holds one bullet at a time. Uh. If he had shot the clown in the forehead, he couldn't have shot the victim too. Objection! Yeah! That's not a contradiction. Not even close! All he had to do was reload the pistol after the first shot. Oh? Where did he get the extra bullet? They're not so easy to come by, you know? I mean, he does work for the one show that would happen to have a lot of these bullets, <laughs> but sure. Uh. If you claim the defendant had one ready, then prove to us how he got it! Wow, the one of the only times where we tell the 
prosecution yeah. to prove something. Like, why don't you, you evidence. present evidence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It feels good, honestly. It feels really good. It's satisfying. Mm -hmm. It's vindicating, honestly. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I had the feeling this wasn't over yet. No, this party's just getting started. And I haven't proven anything yet, beyond my good looks and startling record sales. And your great humility. <laughs> Whoa! Yay! Wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fact that I used the exact word, holy shit. An utter lack of humility. Absolutely boomed him, Zach. <laughs> Uh, what's this? It seems that the prosecution has another witness prepared. Like I said, her detective was just the warm-up act. Uh. Now that the audience has gotten a taste of what's to come, they're ready. Ready for what? For my decisive witness, of course. A witness who, you will find, can prove one thing for us. That it was Zack Grammary who shot the victim in the forehead! Very well. We will pause for a 15 minute recess. This might be my lucky break. I'll need that 15 minutes to talk to my client, mm -hmm. Zack. He isn't talking to me. Court is adjourned. Bye, Gumshoe. See you in. Oh wow! They well, put you a... know it's it's gonna be many years probably until we see. Fuck! Big that's Gumshoe it. Again. That's all we get of him. That was so yeah. short. Oh. That's all the Gumshoe. Yep. Oh. Yep. yep. I'm assuming there's and no we'll investigation. See... I'm assuming there's no investigation segments in this flashback. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Nope, we don't see Gumshoe again until Ace Attorney Investigations. Damn. Uh, well, I think we should at least continue a little bit just to, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, just, just to give Nezumi a little, uh, little, yeah. little something to do. <clears throat> Very impressive, Mr. Wright. I have to say, I expected nothing less. We've only just begun. I was hoping you could tell me a bit more about what happened, actually. I did not think you would believe me if I told you. Better that you discover the truth for yourself. I just want to be clear, that's a terrible strategy for a legal defense. <laughs> I was thinking of you, you know. <laughs> I don't think you were. I think we need less thinking and more talking. That night in the hospital, what really happened? Ah, the way your eyes gleam, Mr. Wright. You'll scare Trucy. Speaking of which, where is she? You have seen the problem yourself. The letter? The one shot in the forehead one, right? Yes, and the reason he speaks of. I could not deny my mentor's wishes, even if it meant my own death. Why not? This is something I will not say. For now, at least. What's this for now business? I have done many things in my life. Some well, some poorly. Like that show where I shoot that gun and miss terribly. <laughs> my legal strategy. That was one of the. That was one of my greatest accomplishments. <laughs> but this is a cross we must bear alone to our graves. We. You wanted to know about the night of the incident. Finally, this guy sure likes to take his time getting to the important stuff. Of course, I had no intention of shooting my mentor. I snuck into his room that night at the appointed time hoping to stab him instead. <laughs> <laughs> and found there upon his bedside table, bedside table, two pistols. 
two. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is a it looks a little silly to just see them both there. Yes. The one I had used on stage. I almost read that line because I read the names and it said my name and I was like, oh yeah, I speak now. Yes. <laughs> and the one that had been used by my partner, Valant. Oh, for the Zack and Valant's quick draw thing. Uh, it's the Zack and Valant's quick draw shoot him. <laughs> my mentor had the look of one sleeping. Because he was asleep. I stood by his bedside, hearing only the light sound of his breathing. Then I took the pistol into my hand. I cannot deny that my resolve faltered then for a moment. You faltered? You mean you thought about shooting him? Recall there was a reason I could not refuse his request. His last such request, though not his first. So, there were other requests you couldn't refuse before? He asked me to shoot him a lot for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he would not stop asking me to shoot him. So weird. To be honest, I've not always been steadfast, and I fear I've brought pain upon Trucy. Was Magnifique coercing his disciples somehow? Just what was going on in Troop Grammary? Yet... In the end, I did not shoot him. Instead, I turned and shot the clown. I took the pistol I'd fired and placed it in my pocket. In your pocket? I believe if you examine the bullet in the clown's head, you'll find it to be different than the one in my than the one in my mentor. The uh, what were those called? Rifling marks. Yes! Well, that is all I have to tell you. Concerning the case. Concerning the case? You mean there's something else you can tell me? Ha! Ha ha ha! You are a fascinating man, Mr. Wright. Thanks? Yes, there is something. My mentor. His eyes opened. What? Magnifi Grammary... The old devil. He was not asleep, you see. Well, I mean, yeah, after you shot the gun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember his words. Oh, fuck, what was that? <laughs> That's loud as hell. Jeez, man. <laughs> he said, oh my god, dude. Why did you shoot the clown? <laughs> Of course, the gunshot would have woken him anyway. Oh, God. And there we had our last discussion as mentor and pupil. The hospital staff didn't really care about the whole gunshot thing, though. Also, he yeah. Said, he said, your aim sucked. <laughs> as always. <laughs> also, do they have to make... Uh... Zack, like, grayed out in this shot if we know it's supposed to be him. <laughs> it's mysterious. Ooh, it was be? not a long discussion. Maybe five, ten minutes or so. What did you talk about? Aha! <laughs> Mr. Wright, did I not just tell you? It does not concern this case. Zack Grammary... Seems pretty steadfast to me. Maybe just stubborn. Mr. Wright, your presence is requested in the courtroom. Man, it's my first day on the job. I'm so excited to be a bailiff. <laughs> Damn. The backstory. Once again, I am in your hands. Right. Let's get back in there. <clears throat> Uh, Rina Rabona also gets the five dollars. I'm gonna use the money I make from being a bailiff to pay for boxing lessons. <laughs> uh, Rina Rabona also donated, saying, "Wait, he's stuck under the hospital? Isn't that also trespassing?" 
I would assume that he would be allowed to get in there, but yeah, he's probably a visitor. Yeah, yeah. But there were two guns there already, which is hella sus. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's a magician. Zach, he can make it work. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, Graham, are you always leaving those guns everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Asking the nurses to shoot him. <laughs> Their aim is no better. <laughs> Court is now back in session. During our recess, a bullet was found in and dug out from the clown's head. Well, this is news. And the rifling marks? There wasn't time to do a detailed analysis. Though, they did find the weapon type matches the murder weapon. Hmm. Well, that's not very conclusive, is it? Which is why I'm about to call my very decisive witness. Your decisive witness? How many times have I heard those words? They do often be... <laughs> although they do often turn out to be far less decisive than you think. Oh... Don't worry on my account. I'm quite confident this witness will do the job. After all, he is intimately acquainted with the players in our little production. Being the other half of Troop Grammarie's famous duo, Zack and Vallant. Vallant Grammarie. So, we get to meet the great Magnifi's other disciple. Hey! Hey! Uh, uh. <laughs> Perhaps we'll start by asking your name and occupation. Volant Grammary, magician. Hmm. Beardless. Yeah, I, I like his uh, look, even if it is shaven. just no beard and darker <laughs> hair. And you're the decisive witness, are you? You can prove your fellow student, your partner's guilt. Fate, the grand illusion, filled with traps and tricks. Fate, stay night. Pretty cool. <laughs> the visual uh, novel. Limited blade works. <laughs> Wait, the shooting took place in that hospital after 11 o'clock that night. If you're a witness, does that mean you were there that late? If one were to deduce this logically, the conclusion is... Yes! You could have just said yes. Um... Okay? <sighs> I always get the characters, don't I? I have an interesting fact for you. You see, several days before the crime... My witness received this. That... looks very familiar. <laughs> Wait! That's the same letter Zach Grammary received! Yes! Or perhaps I should say, ta-da! Oh, damn. His hair perfectly, like, spreads out at the bottom. Uh-huh. Order! 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 And what does it say? Surely not the same thing. Perhaps you should see for yourself. Okay, so he told him to come uh, 15 minutes later <laughs> to kill him. That's <laughs> funny. 15 minutes later, I need you to shoot me in that. That's really funny. Why, it's practically the same. The court accepts this into evidence. Okay. This is most unusual. Exactly what was going on with you folks? What exactly was your troop grammary up to? By which you mean? Why was this turtle man asking people to kill him all the time? <laughs> I'm just having trouble envisioning a man who would ask his students to kill him. Then you haven't met my Am I crazy here? Am I the asshole? <laughs> Both of them, no less. This is an anime plot for sure. It's just my opinion. That is assassination. Or, 
you could oh, say yeah, yeah. my theory. <laughs> but from these letters, I say he was coercing them, not asking them. Haro Sensei is a much better teacher than Magnify, however. <laughs> <laughs> we walked the magician's path together, and in so doing, shared much of our lives. When people are so close, there's a strain. A warping of relations, you might say. I saw his magic wand and his cups and balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good magician joke, Wes. <laughs> Yet this has nothing to do with the case at hand. By which you mean you're not going to tell us. Yes, exactly. <sighs> which makes me wonder Figure even more out. about this reason they couldn't refuse. Well, let's get on with the testimony, for starters. The defendant, Zack Grabbery, stands accused. Tell us why. What, you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll do more than that. For where he walks, the red roses rise, singing hymns to the miracle that is magic. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a bitch. <laughs> Though I hardly need to remind you, the evidence could just as clearly point to you as the suspect. The letter... The murder weapon, and now the two bullets found at the scene. Fact, the only difference seems to be the designated time. <laughs> As every magician knows, timing is everything. Yes. And now it's time to get this party fired up! Okay, calm, calm down. A little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm a lot, but we need to dial it back. Uh, this is an interesting. Uh, Dice in the chat gifted five Canadian dollars, saying, "Fun fact: Unlike most of the flashback designs, the young Volant is actually the original design. The older one was based on it instead of the other way around." Oh, that's oh. cool. I like that. Oh, okay, yeah. I like that. Uh, oh yeah, that's it. That's the only donation. Okay, night of the crime. That night, I visited the hospital room at the time Magnifi requested. The smell of gunpowder hung in the room, and my mentor had taken his final bow. I did not imagine my fellow student might have received the same instructions. Yet a deal with the dead is still a deal. Death's sweet kiss I gave to the clown. Then I informed the doctor and the police. So you're saying you walked into the room and the man was already dead, just to be clear. So you yeah. walked into the room, saw a dead body, and then shot a clown. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. And you shot a doll. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> well, I was in a state of confusion. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, I mean. <laughs> it does sound a little silly. <laughs> hmm. So you were the one who reported the crime. Indeed, I would think. Oh no, man, sounds like a self-report to me. This fact alone would clear my name of suspicion. Let's not jump to any conclusions. Yes, the cross-examination generally comes before the conclusions in this court. Generally. No, it doesn't. But <laughs> we if your testimony proves like to be true. day one every case before anybody's been <laughs> questioned. But if your testimony proves to be true, then the defendant, Zach Grammary, is guilty. And if it wasn't Zach Grammary, then the killer was you, Volant. No disappearing act will get you out of that. Oh, I wouldn't be yeah. so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like we know where you are in seven years' time from now, so... Uh, okay... Is in the room at the time. Smell compounded hung. My mentor was dead, essentially. Uh, I didn't know he received the same instructions. Deal with the dead is still a deal. Death sweet kiss I gave to the clown. Then I informed the doctor, please. I mean, tell us about you shooting the clown. Please. It was creepy. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> 
There were two bullet holes at the scene, one in the victim and one in the clown. You're saying the one who shot the clown was you? No doubt my partner, Zack, has said much the same thing. Yeah, because whoever didn't shoot the clown committed murder. Better dig around here a bit more and see when I turn up. Mr. Vallant, let me ask about something else concerning that crime scene. Namely... Um... Uh. I wonder if he'll fuck up and say there were two pistols. Maybe. Because Zack said Perhaps. that he... Took one. How many pistols were there when you entered the room? By which you mean what, precisely? I mean, how many pistols were I mean, there when you entered the fucking room? That's a very straight out. That's Sorry, a very I'm not following question. you. Sorry, I, I blacked out for a second. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Two pistols were used in the Zack and Vallant quick draw shoot him, correct? One for each of you. You're well informed. Yet, only one of my old friends sat in the hospital room that night. Okay, damn. Alright, that's accurate. What did Zack tell me back in the lobby? Of course, I had no intention of shooting my mentor. I snuck into his room that night at the appointed time and found there upon his bedside table two pistols. I took the pistol I had fired and placed it in my pocket. See, so yeah, I, I don't think I realized like, how fucking built Zack Grammary is. He is so jacked. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. He's, a, he's a big man. Pretty toned. Hmm. I see no problem with that statement. I see no problem with that flashback. <laughs> Only one pistol is visible in the photograph of the crime scene, after all. So you picked up that pistol and fired it. Indeed I did. Alakazam, Alakazing, Alakaboom. <laughs> Alakaboom. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a bit tasteless, but is the number of pistols really so important? I don't think so. Yeah, but they're giving this... Well, let's say quite important. He's got to yeah. add something, and then if not, we can just go back and press the statement again. Mm -hmm. That's true. The number of pistols is quite important, Your Honor. Very well. Please add this detail to your testimony. What can I do but obey? I guess not obey, but... <laughs> <laughs> One pistol... I shot the clown. Um... Oh! 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 Didn't he say that each of them have different things? Yeah, he did point out that they had different ballistic markings or okay. whatever. This was the one that Yeah, but we don't was... have any... So this should be the one that Zack left. Oh, the one that was left. Which means yeah, this was the one that Vallant fired, the and this one matches the bullet found in the victim. So I think this is actually the fucking the exact evidence we need for this. Yeah, that makes sense because if it's the pistol that was left in the room... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then... It Very convenient that these identical pistols have distinctly different uh, rifling markings. Very interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Objection! Fuck yeah. Adam. According to the defendant, Zach Grammery, when he entered the room, there were two pistols on the table. Two? One of those pistols he used to shoot the clown in the forehead. Then he left with it in his pocket. Of course, this is what he would say. Unlike the hapless clown, we must assume our defendant has some brains in his head. Well, what about what about what Mr. Vallant has told us? You see, there's something about his testimony that doesn't make sense. What might that be? I told you, I took the pistol that was there and shot the clown. That's your story, at least. That's your story, at least. <clears throat> the rifling marks tell a very different story, Mr. Vallant. Recall what Prosecutor Gavin told us. We compared the bullet taken from the victim's skull with the bullet fired from this gun. The rifling marks on the bullets were a perfect match. <laughs> Mr. Vallant! 
If you fired this pistol, then you shot the victim in the forehead. Order! 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 Well, this is all rather sudden. Objection! <laughs> what have I done? Prosecutor Kevin? Did you commit the murder? <laughs> no, it was these hands! <laughs> <laughs> I owe the court an apology. Sorry! Objection. Sorry for what? You see, I was unaware that two of these unique pistols were crafted. The analysis of the rifling marks only proved the type of gun that fired them. Objection. Oh my god. But, but that's not what you told us before! You said you'd verified the murder weapon. Which is why I'm apologizing to you now. Quite sincerely, I might add. What the? Well, they I'm literally. Admitting I screwed they up. They literally told us this was the thing, and now they're saying no, it's actually not the thing. Yeah. It's almost like he updated the murder weapon. Yeah. <laughs> would you hold me accountable for a mistake made in my youth? No, oh, but I would. Wee. I would question why you are prosecuting right now. I'm I'm just, I'm just a widow baby. <laughs> baby. That was just this morning! Your Honor, I motion to submit that I am a widow baby. <laughs> Sustained. <laughs> he is just look at him. Cheeks. <laughs> just look at his cheeks and his sculpted pecs. <laughs> This is the most ripped baby I've ever seen! <laughs> I am still young. Objection! And, I might add, it wasn't really my fault. I'm still young, and dumb, and your honor. Tee hee. Hot. <laughs> if the defendant had only admitted he took one pistol from the scene of the crime, we would not be having this pleasant discussion now. <sighs> hmm. Lord Grammary? Yes, Your Honor. You were presented to this court as a decisive witness. But you've proven to be more divisive oh. than decisive. Oh. <laughs> or possibly you divisive. Start. You should start a YouTube channel, Your Honor. <laughs> See, that's what my grandson keeps telling me. <laughs> Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's the judge, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. <laughs> Today, we're going to be taking on the Ender Dragon. Let's go. You'll see in time. The testimony so far has merely been a review of the facts. The proof comes next. Care to elaborate, Prosecutor Gavin? No. Well, when okay. Mr. Grant entered the hospital room, the victim had already been shot. As his next testimony will prove. Hey, right. The real fight is about to begin. Bring it. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's something nice about him being confident Bring. that I love. Mr. Grinny says they need a let's fucking go and judge his voice. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do it. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Poggers chat! <laughs> Very well. The witness will now testify to the court. This, this, this witness is hella sus. Right? <laughs> right, everyone? <laughs> Help us determine who shot what. All right, that I think might be a good stopping point. He's, mm -hmm. he's straight up chuggy. Is that, did I use that correctly? I don't. People still say chuggy. I have I, no, I don't know what that even, Ijbol, I know that's a thing. <laughs> I don't even know what that is.
it's, it's the I, I've it's, never heard of the Idge Bowl. It's not a thing. It's a joke that people would say Idge Bowl. Like I just burst out laughing. Like it's the new lol. Uh, uh, but okay. but okay. people don't say Idge Bowl. Halucha says Idge Bowl. Shout out to you, Halucha. That was for you. <laughs> Uh, all right, folks, that's going to do it for another, another ace attorney with an actual lawyer. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out Nezumi streams also on youtube.com yeah. slash Nezumi VA. Check out Wes on twitch.tv slash respectable. Uh, be excited for our I, the Somnium files. Let's play as we've got more saving throw coming this week. Uh, community stream this weekend, uh, a whole bunch of great stuff. And, uh, you're going to like the way we stream. Uh, but until next time, stick around for art. Because court is adjourned. Oh, shit. Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking ahead and there's something that I'm oh. really excited about. Mm. Oh, boy. It's just spoilers. There's a there's a desert boy man. Oh, oh you're looking that, at the art. You're that, looking at the art. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Oh. Uh, oh. oh, while we're getting that set up, I'm going to once again use the bathroom. Yeah. I've been on of water. Got a couple of donos to read as well. Uh, Miller Lumen gifted five New Zealand dollars, uh, saying if you continue the DS version, version, this part would look weird because there's an obvious difference between the sleek Ace Attorney Four sprites and the OT crust, o OG crusty yeah. assets. Yeah, there is. That's very funny. Uh, General Jimmy's gifted five dollars, saying Volant, meet my shotgun, Alaka Boomstick. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> Uh, and Fisher gifted five dollars, saying "Happy birthday, Haley!" Not gonna lie, that little lawyer, that Ger little German lawyer, can get it. Happy birthday, Haley! I don't know if that was a if if there's a Haley that's also watching, and if so, happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell yeah! Uh, yeah, let me get the stream. Uh, and a sky with even more hats. They added to the collection we have a Maya and a Vera. Vera was a struggle. I almost gave up on her, but I pushed through. So I gave her the sketchbook she always has an apology. Maya was fun to make, and the bun makes for a good stress toy. Current ca current hat counter, 32. They yeah. both came out really good. Yeah, no, this looks so good. Yeah. The, the, the sketch pattern. I was going to say, really you're going to have... Mm -hmm. have you're gonna make so many of these that you're gonna have to open up your own like Etsy shop to sell. <laughs> yeah. <these. laughs> Little End Dragon with continuing the biblically accurate angels with oh, Trucy and Mr. Hat. Mr. Hat is now a part of Trucy. I may have made him a little fleshy and given him teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the first picture oh, is censored, God. the second one's uncensored, and the third one's a silly comic. <laughs> Yeah, at yeah, first I was like, the censored one, I was like, oh, there's just a few little eyes on the vest, and then you go to this one, and it's like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but we're like uh, brothers, only closer. Only closer. <laughs> also, uh, Trucy's, like, big brooch having an eye in it, too, is a really good touch. Get your Mr. Hat! <laughs> he don't fight. Yes, he do! <laughs> <laughs> Very good, very good. Uh, Mocha with Cosmodoodle, because I low-key forgot how to draw again. He stopped studying for five seconds, pelt him with rocks. No. <laughs> yeah, very, very good. this looks great. Hell yeah, hell yeah. As always, Mocha, your your, your drawings of the boys are, are very good. Uh, society, yes! <laughs> Those regional variants are getting pretty crazy. I mean, what even is a mint type? That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> spoink brushel. Spoink. It's God. really good. Speaking of fish, fishy with not my best work, but I wanted to, that was a segue. I wanted to share here since I've started watching the series. <laughs> I'm not cut up yet. I just got to trials and tribulations, but this is definitely becoming one of my best, one of the best playthroughs of Ace Attorney I've seen. I absolutely love watching. Thank you so much. Oh, Yay. thank you. And yeah, I love this. <laughs> Again, uh, Gap Tooth Trucy is where it's at. It's very good. Mac Dadavali, uh, with an Apollo Justice sketch I did the other day at 4 a.m. while binging your guys' Apollo Justice series. I just recently got into watching it and I'm almost caught up. I have loved watching it and recently got my friend to start watching it too. Thank you for all you do. I can't wait to see what happens next. Yeah. I love yeah. the way this looks. This is really We're cool. Mm -hmm. The perceive yeah. effect. Ultram with content warning for the fifth image. Uh, there's an animation meme trend going around where you draw characters chilling out in Spotify covers, so I figured I'd do that with Clavier and the Gavinor songs. Makes me really want to hear all of the Gavinor songs. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are cool. I love this. Oh, yeah, those are really good. These, these are, these years are really time cute. for love. Love with no chance of parole. Oh, that's really good. Like the jail cell having a heart opening in it. God damn. And guilty love. Yeah. Oh wait, there's one more. Uh, and the guitar serenade featuring Lamy War and Machi Tobai. <laughs> the fucking fire still still having the fire on there. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing! Hell yeah, I'll try it. These are these are really cool. Uh, Charlie, with I love Clavier's younger design. He's twinkified, and I figured he'd probably be on, been on a magazine cover. And I love the little text on it. That's good. This is very well done. Yeah, I love this poster. Clavier is gay. When you're <laughs> sad. Darian has a really stupid phallic haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix and Miles are getting married. Hold on, why are we talking about prosecutors? <laughs> That's so good. Oh yeah. Also, eighteen and a pro and eighteen and a prosecuting prod prodigy while having three platinum albums. What the fuck? That's really good. Uh, and a comic idea based i based on a based on the idea of the magazine. Oh, how have I never seen this before? Like what you see here, forehead? Ah, uh, well... Yeah, maybe. Well, we could do a private photo shoot together. <laughs> Polly. <laughs> Apollo! Did I break you? <laughs> his his uh, little hair forming into a heart. I, I love it when people do that. It's really good. Uh, hell yeah, Charlie. Uh, Saf, whoa, couldn't finish my watercolor in our meets today, so I have some old Franzi Maya and Fran Maya's compensation. Uh, wow, this first I love Maya style. is incredible. Yeah, this I is really yeah, good. Yeah, that's so cool. Wow. And yeah, oh my god, the... the Fucking necromancer Maya. The Franziska, too, with like the, the way mm -hmm. you look up the objection, and just like the sharp lining on everything is really, really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and then the comic. Maya Fake, does that happen to be your fursona? Correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't activity fall under that term you teach me? What was it again? Cringe? <laughs> You're cringe. <laughs> Crazy, no! It's a bit, it's a joke! I'm not serious, it's just an internet meme I'm making reference to. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Great, now you broke her. Maya, calm her down before she takes it out on me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, this Franziska crying image is really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we got some dessert oh, yeah, board, man. Is. You ready for more cupcakes? The, yes. the Volant Grammary is oh. a hummingbird cake with brown butter bourbon buttercream. That is a beautiful oh, alliteration God. segment. Uh, I don't know what hummingbird cake was before. I, I didn't know before I made it's these. It's so good. But it's spiced banana cake with coconut, pineapple, and pecans yeah. originating in Jamaica. It's popular in the American it's South, amazing. which I feel fits, because Volant has a Jeff Foxworthy mustache, so I can't help but think <laughs> Oh, <of it> <laughs> I did, did oh, not God. need you to put that image <laughs> in my head. Now, you might be a magician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's if you've got if you're a you clown store, has a gunshot in it. <laughs> if you store all your belongings in your underwear, you might be a magician. This is incredible. Uh, again, always yeah, so jealous yeah. when we get to I, these I segments because I'm so bird. hungry now. Next, Gumshoes Pal. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't yeah. much, but it's a quick cause of cosplay I did of everyone's second favorite reporter. Still gotta love that fish lady, Spark Brushel. Yo. Yeah, great. <laughs> Got the poses just it's right. It's so you good. Yeah. You yeah. I want especially. God, yeah, that's I incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Asufa, with first bit is based off an actual interaction I had, the second thing is silly. Mm. <laughs> Them writing on the wall, does Emma still suck at drawing? Yes. Can we yes. kill Can we Brushel? kill Brushel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Daddy. Oh my god, where have you been? I've been crawling through hell and back trying to unpack this case. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> it's legit just bread rolls and cinnamon butter. Nothing else is in that bag. <laughs> Texas yeah. Roadhouse. Yeah. Yeah. 
also you made this phoenix way too fucking hot holy shit yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's jacked. god damn <laughs> uh and the third one <laughs> <laughs> Holy hocus pocus! That girl knows us. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> this animation. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so good. God damn! <laughs> I love this. This animation's so clean. <laughs> yeah, her face Amazing. is hilarious. Amazing. In this. Uh, Manga with missing scene of Phoenix and Gumshoe reunion in the court lobby moments before disaster. <laughs> Gumshoe, oh. I missed you so much. Oh my god. Uh, missed you too, pal. <laughs> I love this. That's my head cannon. Uh, and working on some alternate outfit designs for the Ace Attorney cast in some spare time. So here's my take on fits for Naramitsu. Yo, Ooh. I love this jacket on Phoenix. Yeah. I love the little oh, yeah. uh, glasses, uh, like the, mm. what do you call them? Yeah. The little, the little string little that glasses. Some people do. Uh -huh. yeah. I love those for oh. him. No, these look, both these outfits yeah. look really fucking cool. Hell yeah. Jingle Pikachu <laughs> with Vera, because she's an okay character, I guess. Nothing special, not obsessed with anything. I'm not obsessed with anything, and you can't prove it. Anyways, first step to draw her, and second, with some life in her eyes. Oh. oh. This is so good. good. I love this. this the second picture the is second so one. adorable. Awesome. Like just like the little like pouty lip like yeah. while thinking is oh. really, really cute. Hell yeah, Jiggle Pixie, this is awesome. Uh, again, as always, you're you're at rule.